Last time on Total Drama Random Island, the teams were introduced and had some time to spend together. A lot of them got along well together and the standout pair was Amy and Tammy, who enjoyed torturing their relatives a little too much. The challenge was to build a hot tub and the best one won their team immunity. It was the killer bass who fell short due to their lack of teamwork and as a result they had to go to elimination. Kelly tried to take charge but when Kelly needed Sammy most, she stayed quiet, letting Kelly take the fall as the first ever eliminated contestant in Total Drama Random Island. Duncan is out searching for the idol when Chris wakes everyone up who's still asleep. Duncan reports back to his team's cabin and Kitty walks out with a sly smile on her face and Duncan tells her not to tell anyone about this. And Kitty says that he can buy her silence, but Duncan says that he has no qualms with hurting a woman, especially one that's trying to blackmail him. Cody notices Eva's MP3 player and tries to mess with it, which gets his hand almost bitten off. Blainly asks what they are doing up so early and Chris says that he's glad she asked. They are gonna run across the island. Eva threatens Chris, but she is held off by DJ, B, and Elodie, who says that she needs to calm down. Eva asks Chris if he's enjoying this, and Chris admits that he is enjoying this a little. They then go. Dwayne and Pete are running, but only a little ways in they find out why being young might matter in this competition, as Dwayne is exhausted and Pete's artificial knee gives out. Duncan laughs at them calling them losers and Amy says to watch out for the trash to Sammy but Taylor says that's probably where Sammy will feel the most at home. Jock picks both of them up saying that he never leaves a teammate behind. Spud is just walking with Tammy as Tammy tells him stories of her travels. Justin is running with DJ and Justin says that he can respect a guy that's strong but does cardio and DJ says thanks he respects a guy that has a six pack on a six pack and Justin says that that's nothing he should see his legs. Lorenzo mumbles to himself in anger before yelling that he has a six pack too and he's pushed over by Eva who tells him to move it. Millie is huffing and Cody asks her if she's okay and Millie says that she hasn't done this much running since she ran from her bullies in high school. Cody seems a bit excited as he says that he's surprised she's had that experience too and they bond over the fact that outside of the game they're total outcasts. B carries Elodie and she says in confessional that he's quite the gentleman and he's smart to boot. He's quite the character. Killer Bass think they have won but Millie and Cody Cody enter before Spud and Tammy, and Duncan is pissed and in confessional he says that Spud is on his hit list now. They are rewarded with a feast, but they are then told that wasn't the real challenge. The real challenge is going to begin now, where they must stay up for as long as they possibly can. Dwayne and Pete both look at each other worried. Pete in confessional says that at his age, he can't exactly help when his body decides to clock itself out. Twelve hours into the challenge and Owen falls asleep, but Dwayne and Pete are still surprisingly awake. Bud has fallen asleep as well as Tammy on the other hand. Twenty-four hours in and Dwayne and Pete fell asleep, as well as Taylor and Amy for Killer Bass, while Blainley and Elodie were asleep on the Screaming Gophers. Duncan places Spud's hand in warm water, yet even after yelling about how he peed his pants, Spud continues to sleep. Kitty tries talking to Duncan, but he keeps his cold exterior up, not letting it up even for her. Jock asks Sammy why she takes so much abuse, and Sammy says that's how things are. And Jock says that it doesn't have to be that way. They can get rid of Amy before Amy gets rid of her. Sammy is shocked by that notion, but she says she'll have to think about it since if she gets rid of Amy, Taylor will give her hell. After 48 hours, Sammy fell asleep for Killer Bass while Jock catches Justin with his painted eyes, and he's disqualified. Lorenzo, DJ, Ella, Millie, B, and Cody are also asleep at this point making Eva the last one to hold the team up. After 72 hours, Eva gets up to use the bathroom, and her MP3 player falls on the floor, and Jock looks around before picking it up, and Duncan asks what he's gonna do with that, and Jock says that as long as they win today's challenge, they will have eliminated the biggest threat. Kitty is now asleep at this point. During the reading of the History of Canada, Jock falls asleep at the same time as Eva, but Duncan is still awake, meaning that the killer bass win. The Screaming Gophers are wondering who to vote off, but that's when Eva goes off, throwing everything out of her cabin in order to hopefully find her MP3 player. However, Jock ends up going over and saying he found it over by the campfire and she must have dropped it. Everyone on her team is annoyed at Eva. Chris welcomes the Screaming Gophers to their first elimination. If you get a Marshmallow, you are safe. If you don't, it's the Doc of Shame for you. Marshmallows go to... Justin. DJ. Blaine Lee. Ella. Millie. B. Elodie, Cody, Lorenzo, and finally, Owen. Eva stands up angrily and says, Nice, really nice. I don't need this lame-o TV show anyway. 
She storms off after kicking Chris in the shin, and Millie tries to say bye to Eva, but has to dodge a stick launched at her face by Eva. Eva on the boat says that her temper got the best of her, again, but they lost their fiercest competitor, she hopes they realize that. And that is the end of Random Island Episode 2. What did you think? Question of the week. Do you think Amy or Sammy will last longer? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama, Random Island.